Hey what's up guys and welcome back to Mr. 3D. So in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make water simulation in Blender. But first make sure to click the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any future uploads. And to download this project file make sure to join my discord server and I will put this project file in my discord server in the resources channel. So yeah make sure to join have fun. Now let's get into this tutorial. So here we have our scene and it's fully organized so you don't have to worry about finding objects let's select the domain in the outliner or you can select this from viewport as well go over to the physics properties panel click on fluid and fluid type to domain so this is our domain now it automatically turns it into wireframe mode and we will leave the settings at default for now and we will be changing these values later now select the inflow mesh from the outliner and give it a fluid simulation and type to flow flow type to liquid and flow behavior to inflow and that's what we need for now leave the settings at default and now select the outflow in the outliner and give it a fluid simulation again and type to flow flow type to liquid flow behavior to outflow so we want this to remove our water once it's hit that object so yeah and then select your sync effector we call this effector give it a fluid simulation and type to effector that's what we need for now all we have to do is to uh, select the domain and change the domain type to liquid resolution subdivisions to about 128 for now i know it's heavy but it's fine and now scroll down and you will find if it's not enabled make sure to check this box to enable it and then we have diffusion and mesh so diffusion is the viscosity and the uh, water thickness that we need so i'm gonna select the preset of water from this drop down right here and it's the same as before so no problem in the mesh leave the settings on default and if you want this water to be too much high poly you can increase this 0.1 or you can decrease this to make it low poly so i'm gonna leave it at 2 because it's gonna make it very heavy and lastly we have cache so we want this animation to be 100 frames so change it to 100 frames and type to all this is uh, important if you have replay it will you know play through the viewport as well but it's gonna take a lot more time so yes let it be like this make sure to change it to all and check the is resumable box right here and now all you have to do is to go into the domain border collisions and uncheck the bottom one so what it will do it will remove the water once it touches the bottom face of our domain so that's what we want once we have done everything just hit bake and while it's baking i will show you my discord server and this is amazing you can join have fun ask any help you want and you can also stay updated with my content as well so make sure to join my discord server i will leave my server link in the description below all right baking is done and let's see what we have got in simulation all right so far so good i like it and actually we have to change the end keyframe on viewer 200 as well and as you can see the simulation is amazing make sure to shade smooth and yeah that's it so now once it's working fine you have to free the bake go into the domain settings and resolution subdivisions to 256 double the amount of the subdivisions so it will be very amazing simulation for you now let's bake this again it's gonna take hours of time so you just have to give it time to bake all this stuff and then we will be back many unbearable hours later all right once the bake is finished you have to press the spacebar to preview how our simulation looks like so as you can see it's looking amazing beautiful full of detail and yeah let's save this project file save and let's see again it's also removing the water from the outflow as you can see but it's nice simulation so yeah let's take it to the rendered mode and you will notice that we don't have water texture perfectly applied to it 
okay now let's add a water material so what you have to do is to select your domain domain object not this any other inflow or outflow select your domain and take the transmission up to one transmission roughness if you want if you don't want and the IOR to 1.333 that's what we need and change the roughness to zero as I have here and make it full white alright now you might notice that this is not working perfectly because this transmission works in cycles so let's change it to cycles and let's see what we have got all right as you can see it looks amazing let's have a small render and how the water looks like all right it's gonna take a while but i'm gonna skip the video right here all right as you can see it looks beautiful and it looks realistic amazing and yeah let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section below and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share it with your friends and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any future uploads and i will catch you in the next video